Alright, I am at the frozen food section, and I need to get the Kit Cuisine frozen dinner. I have not had those in a very long time. Especially the desserts are very delicious. Now that I have Kit Cuisine, let's go over to the dairy section and get Trix yogurt. The strawberry banana flavor is my favorite. Here we are at the dairy section. Since I am going grocery shopping by myself this time, I am able to get my favorite yogurt, which is strawberry banana trips yogurt. Let's get some trips yogurt, and put it into the cart. Alright, the last thing on my list is a box of Baby Shark cereal. I am really going to like the flavors. I must get it because it's only a limited edition. Okay, that's everything I need. Now, I am going to check out and pay for these items using my credit card. Then I will go home. Is that going to be all for you today? Yes. Your total is going to be $10.73. Credit card? Yes. Here's your card back. I hope you have a nice day, and thanks for shopping at Stop and & Shop. And same to you. Have a nice day. Alright, now that I'm home, I will put the groceries into the fridge, except for the cereal, of course. First, I will put the yogurt away, then I will put my Kit Cuisine frozen dinner next to the yogurt. And I will have both of them tomorrow. Now, I'm going to put my cereal into the cabinet, since I will have it for breakfast tomorrow, along with the strawberry banana trips yogurt. Good, my grocery shopping is finally finished. Now, time to watch Wonder Pets and Coco Melain on the TV. Wow, it's pretty early in the morning, so I think I'm go to see if there is anything to eat for breakfast. I wonder if there is any yogurt in the fridge. Wait a minute, what is this kid's food doing here? I can see Trix yogurt and a kid cuisine frozen dinner. I do not recall getting these items when we went to the store not too long ago. I have a very good feeling dad bought these items yesterday or something. Emma, can you please come downstairs? I need to show you something. Brian, what's the matter this time? Take a look at what I just found in the refrigerator. It wasn't the last night. Oh my goodness, Brian, you're right, isn't that Trix yogurt, and next to it is a Kid Cuisine frozen dinner. Yes, that is what I am seeing right now, and I think it was Dad who bought those items from the store yesterday. I think the exact same thing. Dad needs to learn that he is too old for things that are for kids, especially for toddlers, preschoolers, and kindergartners. Not just that. He is also too old for things that are for older kids. Brian, Emma, I just heard you two talking about me. What is it this time? Oh no. Am I in trouble or something? We need to talk to you about something, and it has to do with what is in the refrigerator. Are you referring to the Trix yogurt and the Kit Cuisine frozen dinner? Yes, and we want you to listen to us very good. Dad, 
Did you buy these items at the grocery store yesterday? Yes, I did. Why? We have been telling you numerous times that you are too old for kids' things, and you need to move on from them. You're 35 years old for crying out loud. But I bought those items with my own money, you know. Look, we're happy that you were able to buy things with your own money, instead of constantly ask mum to buy them for you, but why get kids things in the first place? It's because I really like Trix yogurt and Kit Cuisine. Those have really fun flavors, and besides, when I have Kit Cuisine, every dinner comes with mac and cheese. Still, you're too old for those things. I suggest you take them back to the store and replace them with regular items. Oh my goodness, what is going on over here? I've been hearing your conversation about grocery items in the refrigerator. Well, see for yourself what's in the fridge right now. We noticed it right when we got up, and it wasn't the last night. Dave, you've got to be kidding me. Don't tell me you bought Trix yogurt and a Kit Cuisine frozen dinner. Catherine, can't you see that I got that with my own money, and I used my own credit card to buy those things? I'm glad that you're now buying things with your own money, but why would you get Kit things when you're too old for them? Those Kit Cuisine frozen dinners and Trix yogurts have really fun flavors, and kids' food has a lot of flavors. I don't agree with you. There is plenty of regular food items at the grocery store that have flavors, and plenty of flavors too. Why can't you get those instead? Hey, what are you doing, Catherine? I'm going to take these back to the store because you don't need to have them. You need to act like a grown man for once. What? Put those back into the refrigerator right now. I was going to have the Trix yogurt for breakfast, along with my baby shark cereal. Oh great. Here we go again. I was also going to point out that I see baby shark cereal in the cabinet. Mom, I suggest you also take that back to the store as well. Don't take my cereal back to the store. Now Dave, don't get me started with these temper tantrums. I can go get the cereal, using Go Animate Logic. What? Don't take my cereal. Give me back 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 my cereal. Why? Dave, stop it. You're embarrassing yourself and the entire family. Now, we're going to get the receipt, which is in your room, and we're taking these back to the store. Don't even think about doing those things, entitled Karen. In fact, I demand you put those items down right now, or I am going to complain to your manager. No! We're taking these back to the store because you're too old to have them. Come on kids, let's head to the grocery store. Hey, come back here. Bring me back my food. 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 I want my Trix yogurt. I want my baby shark cereal. I want my kid cuisine frozen dinner. I want my food back. 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 What? What? Oh no. Who could it be this time? Whoever it is, I am going to sue them in court. Kevin, what are you doing here? Childish Dad, also known as Dave, I have gotten a report from your next door neighbor that you were having a very loud childish tantrum. And I came over here to talk to you. Yes, I know what you're up to. You are coming onto my property without permission, and you're now trespassing on it. So I demand you to leave my property right now. Dave, I can assure you that I am not trespassing on your property. Are you aware that you were throwing a really loud childish temper tantrum? 
Yes, I am aware that I was very upset because my wife and kids are taking food items back to the grocery store because they think I am too old for them. Do you know who I am? I am Dave, and I am the most important person in the world, and I have the right to get very upset and throw a tantrum whenever things don't go my way. Look, sir. You need to learn to keep your voice down. Your tantrum was bothering just about everyone in the neighborhood. This is why I was called over here. Besides, the world doesn't revolve around you. I'm giving you a warning, and if we receive another complaint about you, then you may end up with a $200 fine. Look, the rules do not apply to me. Do you get that? As a matter of fact, I demand to speak to your manager right now. What you were saying makes no sense at all. According to the city law, anyone making a loud noise is subject to a $200 fine. That's just the way things are. Have a good rest of your afternoon. I have to go right now. Well, I want my Trix yogurt. I want my Trix yogurt. I want my Kit Cuisine frozen thing. I want my Baby Shark cereal. Wow. 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 Wow.